Today's video is kindly sponsored by Etsy. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Drew Makes Over a Space he's already made over once before, sometimes twice before, sometimes three times before, but this one was only once so we're going in for a second. And some of you may know which space this is and that is my office nook that's actually a part of my bedroom. And believe it or not you guys, I probably spend 60% of my time in my apartment in this office nook. So it is a place that I am constantly in and it's literally like a little five by five square, but I'm in here all the time editing, taking making phone calls, doing emails, Zoom meetings, whatever it might be, I find myself in this space all the time. I love working at a desk, that's just how I've always been, so I love having a desk space, and I love that I have a little nook off of my bedroom. Because originally, this little nook, I believe, was just like additional closet space. When I moved in, it just had like a clothing rod in it and a couple of shelves, but I actually converted it into like a little work from home office space that I've been loving, and I wanted to go ahead and give it a bit of a refresh. And there actually was an item that really kind of sparked the inspo for this makeover because when I saw this when I was driving on the street which I'll play the clip in just a minute here you guys I actually filmed this and found it back on May 1st I still have the video clip in my phone I was like how did I just find this like how did I find this item and when I found it I was like you know what we're making over the office nook so let me roll those clips and we're getting into the makeover okay I think I just hit potentially a jackpot because I was driving to get a coffee no intentions of working today it's a Sunday and I drove past a desk you guys on the side of the road and it matches my dresser the dresser in my room and I'm working on or I'm starting to work on the ideas of a little office makeover for my office and I feel like this desk is perfect I'm going to try to go grab it it's actually really nice because I can just walk it into my apartment look at this oh does this go on top of it is it like a vanity or something doesn't this match my dresser in my room you guys like same exact hardware I wonder if I could strip this somehow. Oh my gosh, it's actually so nice. It doesn't even look like the drawers have been used. I cannot believe I just found this on the road. This is crazy. You guys, I got it. Look at how cute it is. I'm gonna run it home. It feels like Christmas morning right now because I have so many packages to the right of me from Etsy, which is so exciting, you guys. I'm actually gonna open all of these on camera. I thought it'd be fun to do a little haul as opposed to me like opening them all and seeing them and then just including them in the video. I wanted you guys to kind of see my initial reaction to some of these items because I don't exactly know what's in every single package. So we have a bunch to open, but if you have never shopped on Etsy, it is such an incredible website. They have so many one-of-a-kind items, you guys, handmade pieces, vintage items, and a plethora of home decor. And Etsy has every single home furnishing you would ever need, ranging from small decor pieces to larger furniture pieces. And the great thing about Etsy is that a lot of the items are actually sold by independent people like you and I that love DIYing or creating that then sell their creations over on Etsy. So it's really great to have one of a kind handmade pieces throughout your home because it really does add so much more personality. I'm a huge Etsy shopper myself as well, but the thing about me and Etsy is I tend to buy things for other people all the time. It is such an incredible site for gift giving as well you guys because so many personalized items so many unique one-of-a-kind items and I always find myself gifting items from Etsy but I never buy myself pieces so finally it is the time I am so excited to share with you guys what we have in these boxes and let's just get to opening there's no rhyme or reason to opening these now Marie actually took this one out of the box because she didn't know what it was so let's go ahead and just open this first look at this little handmade vase how beautiful is that in the distressing on it. It's such a cute size too. I've never seen one small like this, like perfect for a little flower pot. Okay, these are some little hooks that I got. And look how cute these are. They're little wooden wall hooks. They're kind of like larger walnut style ones. Another larger size box down here. I'm gonna pop this open. This is, I think this might actually be one of my vintage items I got. Oh my golly goodness gracious, you guys. This is a vintage mid-century 
this little pendant light fixture. And as you guys know, I have a small pendant light in there currently, but when I selected the pendant light that's in there, I didn't select well because it directs the light right in your eye, like literally straight down on you. And I definitely need something a little bit more like a shade that kind of disperses the light outwards. I am obsessed. I'm absolutely in love. Etsy is such a great place to find antique or vintage anything. This one looks like it might be an art print. This is from Whispering Sky Studio and look how beautiful that art print is. I hope that you guys can see it. It's from Lauren Lee from 2022. Oh, this is so cute. You guys, look at this little mug. I have an addiction with handmade pottery. This item is from Argentina, which is fun. Look at the striped face. I've been so obsessed with stripes lately. I feel like you guys probably know that, but this will be so pretty with flowers. I think I know what this is too. I picked out a ceramic bowl that I wanted to turn into like a flower arrangement. You guys look at how lovely and organic this bowl is. It is such a pretty color as well. The craftsmanship, this is handmade. It has a glossy inside, a more matte kind of outside. Look at that, you guys. This is actually a wind chime for outside, which is adorable and it makes the cutest noise. I actually got this to hang in place of the hanging plant that's currently in my office space. Okay, we have like six more. I wish I had like 30 more though. Little rattan coasters. I thought these would be just cute to have in my desk area because my desk or the new desk that I'm putting in there, it's gonna need something protective from drinks. So I got these little rattan style coasters. They came in a set of four. I almost forgot about this guy. This is another piece that I opened before doing this video because I didn't know what it was that came in the mail. It is the cutest candlestick holder. It's like a wabi-sabi style ceramic. Look at that. How cool is that? Look at this. It's like a little paperweight and I believe there's matching items that go with it. It's like a little ashtray, I believe, but you can definitely use it as more of like a catch-all for paper clips or whatever. And lastly, I think this is like a little tray. Look at those three pieces and they coordinate so nicely. So this will be great as like additional little elements to just pop in there. So it looks like this is our last package, you guys. Big, big package. Look at that lamp. Oh my God, I'm dead. It's so cute. I love rattan, as you guys know. It's all over my space. So this is just freaking adorable. I am so excited to add this to the office space, but I'm gonna go ahead and allow myself tonight to just kind of sit with these items, figure out where I wanna put them, what I wanna do with them, and also the overall design plan for the space. So I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. We are starting on the desk today. So this is the desk that I found outside on the street, which is crazy. It's such a beautiful desk. It actually looks like stunning in its current state, but it doesn't really fit my aesthetic and style because I want to go ahead and make this black and then rework the hardware to be brass because my dresser right here, actually, which is out of frame, is so similar. Like even the legs on the bottom, you guys, are almost identical. And this is an actual vintage French provincial dresser. I don't know if this is though. I think it might be like a newer piece. Anyways, we are going to be priming it and painting it. And you guys have seen me do that process quite a bit in the past. So we can just kind of start getting ready. I taped off the floor and I feel like this should be a pretty quick furniture flip. First step in our process, removing the hardware. Step number two is going to be priming the piece and I'm gonna be using a shellac based primer. That way we don't have to do any sanding or prep work beforehand. I think someone left their gum under here. Oh. Ew, there's hair in it. Hairy gum. And finally, step number three is going to be painting the piece with two coats of a flat finish that is very similar to my old dresser. I'm actually gonna color match it just so I can get something extremely similar. Um, my dresser is not a true black. It's quite a bit lighter, so I'm gonna do a little bit of a lighter black tone. Checking in a little bit later, I added the second coat to the desk here and I actually went in and kind of touched in some spots where it needed like a third coat, but it is good to go. And I'm gonna do a full coat of poly tonight as well over the top of it, but I probably will just leave that off of camera.
I just went ahead and moved the desk into place and it looks really great in there. This space always looks so green in the morning because the green trees here reflect all of the light. So that's why it's looking really green. But you might have noticed that the light is also up. Now I actually ended up having somebody come yesterday and help install this just because it was a vintage light fixture. I didn't want to like mess up any of the wiring or happen to do something wrong with it. So I had someone come and help. He installed it in five minutes and it works and it's beautiful. Like. I love this. It's so much better because it disperses the light and it's stunning. I just, I love Etsy for these kind of fun light fixtures like this. What I want to go ahead and do next is actually just kind of rework the hardware for the desk because it's like painted white, which is so strange. So I got some spray paint. I want to spray those like an antique brass to match the dresser that I have and then we can get to styling. Oh, and guys, I also forgot to mention, I'm actually not keeping my desktop computer that's right here. So I'm giving that to my parents because they run my online shop and they ship everything and they have a prehistoric computer, two of them actually, like the 2004 computers with like a huge tower and an oversized screen. So I'm gonna give them a better computer. It's gonna work a lot better for them. They just haven't really wanted to learn how to use this one, but I'm gonna teach them because I don't really use it. I more so put my laptop like in front of it on my old desk and like use that. So I'm just gonna be using my laptop here now. Okay, so let's get to work. To achieve a similar look as my dresser, I ended up going in with some antique brass spray paint to start, and then I went in with some black spray paint, and the can was pretty empty, which worked in my favor, because I was able to sparingly spray it on, and then brush around the excess, and kind of get the darker color in more of the groove, so it gives it more of that antique look. If you watched my breakfast nook makeover that came out a couple weeks back, I did a painted striped archway on the underside of the arch in the breakfast nook and it looked so, so good in the end. I was just so shocked I liked it as much as I did. So I was like, why don't we go ahead and transfer that design element over into my office nook area too? Because the office nook and the breakfast nook are actually on opposite corners of the apartment. And I thought having these stripes on the archway in both of them would just bring some cohesion to the space and kind of tie the entire apartment together. Since there are a lot of styles going on, I like to tie back every now and then when I can. We have our paint on the stripe accent and I'm letting that dry, but while that's drying, I wanted to share these with you guys. So I've actually had these baskets in here for a while and I love them because they're perfect size for this space and it's kind of hard to find like a perfect basket size so i really like these but i don't love the color of them with the style in here i'd rather them be darker so i actually have an idea to darken up the basket itself by using some furniture glaze and a dark brown and mixing it with water in a spray bottle and then i want to spray it over the basket and i'm hoping it'll deepen the color of the basket so i'm going to give that a try outside right now yes Yes, I did mix together some wood stain with some water and spray bottle and spray my baskets outside on a tarp. Yes, I did, and they did get darker, and I love the way that they look. They look so good. I used a color called Special Walnut, and then as they dried outside, I okay. went in to remove the tape. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Honestly, it's kind of cool. I kind of like it in there. It looks fun. Some of you might recognize this chair right here, and that is because when I bought these chairs, I bought two boxes of them because I had no idea they were sold in a set of two until they arrived. So I actually have two extra ones here, and I'm gonna use this as my desk chair just because I love the tone of wood, I like the rattan, and I've really just been into an eclectic look lately, mixing this more French provincial style piece with more of like a rattan mid-century moment that kind of coordinates back to our light as well. But something else I'm going to be doing in here, which is kind of fun, is actually contact papering the two shelves here so I'm gonna contact paper the top shelf and I'm also gonna do the bottom shelf with some dark walnut shelf liner that I got a while back I've had it in my stash forever and I thought it would be a fun addition to almost make them look like walnut shelves and just tie in a bit more of warmth so that is the idea at the moment I'm gonna go in and start contact papering the shelves Something I noticed that really helped 
contact paper, the underside of these shelves was actually starting in the middle. So it looked like I started at the end, but I ended up starting actually in the middle and working my way out on both sides. It made the process so much easier. And then just have an X-Acto knife on hand and the tops of both of my shelves actually didn't show. So I just folded the lip over and was good to go. All right, guys, it is time to style these upper shelves, which I love this part, this little nook. I love that there's shelves up here just for additional storage. And we're going to style up here with a bunch of the items from Etsy and also just some personal items as well. So let's see. And I'm kind of going to walk through the process of this because normally you guys just see me placing things. I want to talk about it. So I'm going to, of course, have this globe here. I got this with my grandpa at a thrift store years and years ago. I've had it like I think ever since high school. And I just love it. I think it's such a cute element. Now I know at the top I want to do two of the boxes that we stained. And believe it or not, you guys, this one is going to be empty at the moment, which is so nice because I normally don't have any additional storage. But I moved a lot of what was in there down to the drawers and we have an empty storage box. I also want to style my little bust statue up here because I feel like it's a perfect spot for it. And then this beautiful amphora jug, which is from Etsy. It's like a clay jug. I believe it's vintage. It is so, so pretty. It's just going to be kind of placed there. I got this humongous French Impressionism book at the thrift store and I'm in love with it. I ended up tossing all of the mail that I want to keep in this basket just so that you couldn't see it in the upper baskets. I also like the round shape. So I'm just gonna pop this on this shelf here. And this is perfect, it holds a ton too. A really cute little handmade taper holder, just popped in a little taper. I'm just gonna put that right here. I love the shape of that. And then just this little terracotta pot with some faux florals in there. I have a bunch of books, you guys, that were also in the bookshelf previously, but I kind of rearranged them a little bit. And I think they'll look nice right about here. I'm gonna use that resin square that came with the office supplies as a little bookend. How great is that? The last thing I'm gonna add up here is this little ceramic fruit bowl. Now, of course, it doesn't serve a purpose, but I just love pretty items. And this is a handmade piece of pottery. So I'm just gonna use it as some visual interest in a nice shapely ceramic piece. Let me look what it looks like. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I love it. It looks so good. Wow. Look ahead, the sea is calm, and I know we've been through a lot, but just wait. Wait for better days to come and carry us like wind. Now you guys, I just thought, focus, hello. <laughs> I just thought of the best idea. Oh my gosh. So if you guys remember this artwork, I made it for this wall in here, which no one really ever sees unless you're actually in here. It's just like the side wall. And I was like, what should I swap this out with? And I had no idea, but I got this fabric swatch from a fabric store I went to recently and I wanted to get a swatch of it, but they were like, oh, this is all we have left. And they gave me this entire piece for free. And I'm gonna frame this. Like it is, it's velvet. Can you see that? It's so pretty. It has like such a nice luster to it. And I'm gonna frame it without the glass. So you can kind of like feel the fabric in the frame and then put it back up on the wall. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you guys know what time it is. We are about to reveal the office space with you guys, and I am, I'm just in love. I say it every single video. I love the outcome of this makeover. It is such an eclectic, just unique space, and I genuinely feel so inspired here. Like, there's so much to look at, but let me go ahead and reveal it to you in three, two, one.
and that my friends is my office nook refresh I think this space turned out so well and I just love how it meshes so much more with my bedroom I feel like before this space really looked nice with my previous bedroom when the wall was green but when I changed up the room two times before this space just never really fit that well and I love the vibes now I think adding the walnut contact paper to the shelves was such a smart idea because it really added a nice bit of heaviness to the top and it balanced out kind of our heavy desk on the bottom and just made this space look that much better thank you guys again so much for watching today's video it truly means so much to me and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for brand new home decor and diy content every single week and do not forget to check out etsy i'm going to link them at the top of the description box below along with all of the items that i shared in this video because they truly have such an array of unique handmade and vintage home decor finds that are unlike anything else on the internet there is so much over on etsy so definitely check it out if you're working on your next home project or just want to add a couple new decor pieces to your space because they have everything from large to small furniture and decor and everything in between. I'll catch you guys all my next one. I actually got to get to editing this video, which happens right about here. So let's get to work. Bye guys. Thanks to Etsy for sponsoring this video.